Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We are about to do this face and I have some new products that we're gonna play in. It's actually a good mix, you guys. I have some affordable and high-end products in this basket. So, the foundation I'm using is gonna come as a huge, huge, huge surprise to you guys because I'm new to it. And I know it's been out for a long time. It is the Lancome Tinty Doll Foundation, you guys. So I've been trying this out for the past week and a half and Lancome is sponsoring this video. So shout out to them for working with me in today's video. But um, yeah, the Lancome Tinty Doll. I used the shade 500W. Now I will say, I was trying out the shade 510 and I, I was in... <laughs> It's funny because I was in Bath and Body Works the other day and I had this foundation on. I had this shade on. I looked in the mirror. You guys know how they have the, um, it's like a sink in there where you can try out their soaps and stuff. So I was trying out a soap <laughs> and I looked in the mirror and I was like, wait, 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 wait. No, this is not my shade. So I found that 500W is my perfect, perfect, perfect match. So I'm gonna actually swatch all of these cause they sent over three. I'm gonna swatch the shade that I use and I'm also gonna swatch two other shades which is 510 and 520. So if you are, if you feel like you are um, close to my complexion then this should help. So I'm gonna put swatches on my chest so y'all can see. But yeah, this foundation, y'all, when I say I have been sleep on this foundation, like sleep. So this is 500. This is the shade that I've been using right there. And 510. And you can see here, like you can see just from these two that 500 is like literally spot on. And then I have 520 um, suede W. There's 500 suede dip um i'm sorry 520 so yeah but yeah y'all i can't believe i am so late with trying out this foundation it's definitely a lot of people's favorite so and i can definitely see why you guys will see how it looks once we start applying it on the face um but i'm not gonna um use any new base products because i've been using my um well, of course, my sunscreen. You guys know I love the Tula SPF. But I've been using this with the Fenty Mattifying Primer with the Lancome Foundation. So I'm not going to switch it up in today's video um, since we are still using new products. I still just want to stick with what I know and what has been working for me. So I'm going to first start out with my Tula and then take in Fenty Primer. We're going to apply that as well. I'm gonna keep it the same with my brows too, so there's no new product here, but I'm gonna stick with my Huda Beauty brow pencil and just quickly do my brows. So I have a new lip product that I wanna put on my lips because I totally forgot to moisturize my lips. It's actually a lip plumper though, um, but I wanna try it out. It's the new Essence What The Fake Plumping Lip Filler and it has hyaluronic acid in it with vitamin E. Um, and it's a clear one, so that's why I'm just gonna put this on since my lips are looking a little dry and y'all know I always like to put on, you know, something on the lips before I do my entire face. But let's try it out. Let's see, it has, ooh, I hope it's not like too frosty looking cause it is pretty shimmery. Ooh, it smells like spearmint. Mmm, I hope it doesn't sting either. Uh, it looks like it'll be a little frosty. I don't know because I can see a little bit of white on there, but I still want to try it out, put it on the lips, at least have something on the lips, you know? Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that frosty. So if y'all have tried the Essence Clear Gloss, which is, ooh, it's pretty cold. Hopefully it doesn't sting because I'd rather have it feeling cold on the lips than like, you know, needles. But what I was saying is if you guys have tried out the Essence, um, the regular clear gloss from Essence, which is like one of the best drugstore clear glosses, this is not as thick as it, uh, it's not as thick as that gloss. It feels almost like a lip oil, almost and it doesn't, it's not advertised as a lip oil, but 
it doesn't feel as thick as that gloss, but I like how it feels so far. I like how it's cold on the lips and not stinging my lips or anything like that. But let's talk about this foundation because I know most of you probably already tried out this foundation and I'm pretty sure most of you love it because it's literally a lot of people's favorites from what I've seen and from what I've heard. But if you haven't tried out the Lancome Tinty Doe Foundation, this is, first off, I have combination skin if you guys didn't know and I just get oily on my T-zone. So the few times that I've worn this foundation out and about like running errands, I come back home, you know, you have to wear your mask obviously, but when I take my mask off, I find that the foundation still looks good on my skin. And even though my skin does get oily right here, it doesn't separate, like there's no separation on my T-zone. So if you um, are wanting something that's long wearing this, it's definitely been long wearing on me. So um, it has SPF 15 in it. So I'm just gonna take a couple of pumps of it, about two pumps and, and I'm gonna put some around the face. And we're just gonna stick with the two pumps for now. So I just used all of it right there. And let me show you guys how spot on the color is. First of all, look at that. I haven't even blended it out all the way, but it is spot on. And look at the finish. Y'all, when I say, does this not look like a layer of perfect skin, you guys? Like, look at that. Do y'all see this? And we'll take it down my neck a little bit. Literally the prettiest finish <laughs> it's just so pretty it's so soft like the skin looks like skin even though this is a full coverage foundation and it's comfortable too it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin and like i said i've been wearing it out and about and it feels so so comfortable it doesn't even look like i have on foundation so if i don't want to you know, do too much on the face. I just put a little bit of this on and I am good to go. Of course, I would set it with my powders, but does this finish not look good to y'all? Why did it take me this long to try out this foundation? Like, it took me this long <laughs> to try it out. Um, but you can shop the ten, uh, the Tint Idol foundation in Ulta. So I will have a link down below if you guys are interested. Um, and also online, of course, but the link will be down there. But anyway, let's play with a new concealer. This is Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. And I got the shade um, 92 Warm Spices. This is gonna be my first time trying anything Actually, no, I've tried out their eyeshadow a long time ago, but this is my first time, I think, trying out a complexion products from um, Catrice. So let me see the color. Almost looks like my foundation shade. So I don't think this is gonna be a good brightening concealer, but let's try it out. This is something I would probably use to spot. Yeah, this is not really a brightening concealer for me, but I'm still gonna put it on to see how it, you know, how it looks and stuff. And stuff, I would probably need to go a shade, one shade lighter, but just seeing it online, the shade lighter than this look way, way, way too light. So yeah, I don't know. But I will say I like the applicator on this. It's really flat and it picks up a good amount of the product. I might have to go over this with a lighter concealer because this is not, yeah, this is definitely not <laughs> highlighting the way I want it to. But, oh, let me show you guys the, um, the applicator. See how flat it is? It definitely picks up a lot of the product, but let's see how it blends out on the skin. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely need a lighter one because I can't even see this, but this is gonna be the perfect, perfect spot concealer. So just putting it on like dark spots and stuff like that, I think this will be perfect for it. 
I'm gonna put a little bit, just to even out the lids a little bit, I'm gonna put some more on there. I'm gonna use Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder. This is the All Nighter Translucent Setting Powder. And this will brighten up my under eyes a little bit, so. Now the products I've been using with the Lancome Foundation, um, like the other products, I just been sticking to what I've been using before even trying out the foundation, which is my e.l.f. Camo CC, um, e.l.f. 16 hour wear camo concealer. And um, I told you guys earlier, I've been using that Fenty primer and also the Tula SPF with it. But the other products I like to go on top of the foundation is the e.l.f. Uh, the e.l.f. concealer, my Sephora translucent setting powder. And I've been setting um, the entire face with my Dior powder, no powder with it. I recently purchased the new, um, NYX Cosmetics Matte Setting Powder, which we're gonna use that today. I used it one time on top of 510, and then when I discovered that 500 was my perfect match, I was using it with that. But yeah, we're gonna use that powder today so y'all can see it on top. So yeah, this right here, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder, and this is in the shade 8 Mocha. And I've been using this, like I said, to just set the, um, the foundation where I didn't apply any of that loose setting powder. So around the sides, under my chin. And then my forehead. So I have a, do I have a new bronzer? Ooh, I do. Huda Beauty, this is new to me. So. This is the shade medium. It's called the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. So another product that's been out for a good minute that I haven't, you know, that I haven't tried out. So we are about to try her today. And I've already swatched this. I haven't applied it on the face though. I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes, actually my current favorite brush with any, like any cream bronzer, which is the e.l.f. blending brush. I'm gonna take her in here. Ooh, I might not wanna put that much because I don't even know. Ugh. I don't even know how, oh, that, oh, that's so pretty, y'all. That might be too much though. Let me kind of go light with it. Yeah, I put too much on the brush, so I'm gonna put it around my face first and then start blending it out. But this is a pretty color, you guys. Let me fix my monitor. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty color. Yeah, this is pretty. I like it. I like it. What do you think? Do you like it? Does it look cute to you? I think it looks really, really pretty. All right. You know, I haven't really been wearing a lot of blush lately, but I do have a new blush that I want to try out today. I just been bringing the bronzer a little bit higher on my cheeks to kind of act as a br um to kind of act as a blush. So, you guys see what I'm talking about? So a little bit more like right in this area. And I've been liking it like that. Now, another product that's not new, but I always put it in my routines, which is the Patrick Ta um bronzer duo the contour bronzer duo thing i just put it on the side of my nose i just got some new things in the mail from ColourPop, and one of the things that stood out to me i am gonna try out today because the color is so pretty i'm just putting a little bit of this urban decay powder on my nose but yeah, let's do some eyeshadow. 
let's see what we're gonna come up with. I see that I also threw in a, a new lash glue that I wanna try out. It's from Kiss. It's the Sister Nature Strip Lash Adhesive. And I'm not even gonna lie, the reason why I got it is because of how it looks. <laughs> I like the bamboo, like the bamboo tube. I just thought it was cute, but I'm gonna try that out too. But let me show you guys. I'm gonna start out with um, the new Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette because I need like a, you know, transition shade. And that's also one of my new products. But ColourPop sent over these right here. And they also sent over an eyeshadow palette, but these are the only like two things that really, really stood out to me. So these are their Super Shock um super shock shadow duos and this one is wave breaker and then i got a cream gel liner this is well it's a gel liner duo and it's called hang teal so they sent over like a teal collection and a like a pink magenta purplish type of collection but this these two right here i just want to play with because this color right here let me show you let me show you this blue it's like a really deep i don't know it's just a really pretty deep teal blue color <laughs> and then another one that is pretty is this one right here this is so pretty y'all why is it not even focusing girl what is going on there we go that color right there so don't know what I'm gonna do but I know for sure I want to play with this one and also maybe this one too and I want to put so let me see what this liner looks like yeah so I want to put the darker one on my waterline and then this lighter one I probably mm, maybe too light you know I might can put this on my waterline and then the dark one kind of under it Cause this is a little bit lighter so I might can do that but let's first do the transition shape first and then we'll go into the color so I have already used this lighter shade right here and also this darker shade which I like this is probably one of the best um, matte formulas I've tried and I've tried a lot y'all know matte eyeshadow is my thing like that is all I freaking wear but when I say the formula of this the mattes in this palette I haven't even tried the shimmers but this is a good 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 formula so I'm gonna start out with the first color which is this right here the lighter one because this is gonna be it's gonna make it easy for me to blend in whatever color I need on my eyes so always start with my crease let's kind of mix this chocolate color with this red color go back and forth boom 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 and also take it in the crease too to kind of give a little bit more definition yeah this is one of the best matte formulas because it feels like I'm blending like butter on my lids even though it's not a cream now they do have creams in here I haven't tried the cream out Ooh, you know what I think this will make the best base for that blue yes let's try that let's try it let's try it so I'm gonna take my finger that way the blue can kind of lay down on the lid you know even though the super shock shadows are perfect even if you don't use a, um Ooh. But yeah, the Super Shock Shadows. Ooh, that's pretty. There's the other color. I keep getting sidetracked. But the Super Shock Us. Uh, ooh, that's pretty! Girl, I keep getting sidetracked. I can't even finish my sentence. The Super Shock Shadows are great even without using um, an eyeshadow base. But those are the creams. So we're going to use the lighter one on the lid. And this is going to be my base for that blue. 
Oh, that's pretty, y'all. I like how this color isn't too light. It's like the perfect color for my lid. So my camera cut off. Don't know where it cut off at, but this is how it looks on the lid before it even dries down. I don't even know if it's gonna dry down, but that's how it looks. And it was easy to apply with my finger, but now I'm gonna go over it with this blue color. Well, let me tell y'all the actual color. It's called coconut. And I'm gonna take the finger as well. And then tap it. Oh my gosh, y'all. OMG. This looks so pretty. So I went in with two layers to darken it up. With my finger, I'm gonna do one more layer on top of that. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna take a brush. Let's take this, what is this? KKW Beauty, it's a double-ended brush. I'm gonna take the smaller end and I'm gonna go back into this palette and pick up that brown with it. And take it in the crease and also kind of touching the blue so it can blend into each other. I want to go back in the Patrick Ta and pick up this color. This light beige matte shade. And I'm going to put her in the inner corner. So not only is this going to brighten up my inner corner, it's also going to brighten up the inner corner <laughs> so i'm just gonna keep her right there and kind of feather her into that blue a little bit see how that looks i actually like this better than putting a, um, a shimmer right here because it makes the eyes look softer if you do it with a matte instead of a shimmer all right all right all right let's try the cream gel liner the lighter one this is in the color zulu and i'm gonna put this like right in there like right in there on the waterline pull it down some oh wow this is different <laughs> very very different but wow this is creamy 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 I'm gonna take the darker one and kind of go a little below it just a little bit to kind of y'all my eyes are watering all right so I took it right under the lighter shade and I also brought this color a little bit more in the inner corner just a little bit further over than I did with the lighter shade so I put the lighter shade in the middle and then kind of drug it out but the darker shade um, which is cat suit I took it right under the lighter blue and kind of drug it over into the inner corner am I making any sense you guys do y'all see what I'm saying y'all see it y'all see it <laughs> okay now I want to take that same little brush that I use for the crease just kind of blend in and smoke it out I'm gonna take um yeah that same brush and I am going to Actually, let's go in with coconut again. One thing about the Super Shock Shadows, if you use your finger, I tend to go overboard and I'm already hitting pan on this already. But anyway, I'm taking this and I am gonna kinda smoke out the bottom lash line with it. I'm not gonna try any new mascara since I'm wearing lashes today. So I'm gonna pop on my usuals, the Ardell 778s. But I'm gonna try out this new lash glue. Let's actually open her up. Ah, got the lashes stuck on my finger. Let's open the lash glue up. So yeah, a new lash glue. So this is how she looks. Okay, let me just say, first off, the look is really pretty. It's really cute. But y'all, this lash glue 
is strong. And when I say strong, I mean strong. There are times when I mess up and I have to take the lash off, put it back on. But girl, I couldn't even get the lash off. <laughs> I had to pull the lash off. But this, this is some strong lash glue for it to be from Kiss. Have I tried any lash glue from Kiss? I don't think I have, but this is pretty strong. I actually wanna go back into that light tan color and put a little bit more right in the inner corner, but I need to wipe off the blue from that brush that I use. But yeah, I wanna go back into it because I want the inner corner to be a little bit lighter. I'm just taking that matte color and tapping it right there. and then kind of brushing it under a little bit. See how it just brightens, like, I hope y'all can see that. It just makes it look, it makes it look better to me. And since it's matte, it's not like too much, you know, it's not too much shimmer. It's like, it's just enough to give me that really pretty brightened look yeah that's pretty y'all i like it now let's try a blush let's try a new blush i have the say cream blush it's in the shade dreamy and the way i'm gonna use this is with my sponge i'm just gonna take some on the hand Hopefully this doesn't look make me look too, you know, like a, what are those things, like those puppet dolls? I feel like that is where this is about to go, <laughs> especially if I put on too much of the pink on the cheeks, but I'm going to be light-handed with it, light-handed. I'm using that same sponge that I used with my um, foundation earlier, and we're just going to Take it on the, yeah, this is a pretty color. Ooh, it looks like it has some sheen in it, like a gold sheen. Yeah, we're not gonna go too heavy. Yeah, that's enough right there. That's pretty though. Yeah, it looks like it has a little sheen to it. Maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks, but it looks, ah, I'm dropping stuff. It looks kind of matte, but I don't know. It's pretty though. Put a little bit more on my hand to go on the other side. Yeah, it looks like it has some gold sheen to it. I like it though. That's pretty. I like it. That is gorgeous. All right. That's enough. I don't want to do too much. <laughs> Let's do, what do we want to do next? Let's do the lips and then we'll be done. Oh, and then I got to spray the face. So we have some new lip products from MAC Cosmetics. You guys, I haven't used any like new products from MAC. I have my, like my, my staples but these are actually new they're called the love me liquid lip colors and i thought i had three over here so here are the colors the shades so what shade do you think will look good with the eyes i'm thinking i don't know let's swatch let's swatch oh this is actually darker than what i thought it would be it looks lighter in the packaging but that's coffee and cigs. These feel really creamy, really creamy. And this one is fill me. Ooh, I like that one. And then it's almost like a mousse texture. So what color y'all? I don't like something too red or too pink with a blue eye because I feel like it kind of, on me it kind of looks like 
clown makeup so I might just go with the lighter one and then kind of line my lips with a dark brown liner. I want to take my brush that I use with powder and kind of go over the side of my face a little bit right here because it's really dewy from that blush so I'm gonna do that let me let me let me put the lip on though first what color was it I think it was this one yeah this is better Yep, this looks good with the eyes. It doesn't take away from the eyes. It still looks, you know, like a natural lip. I like it. So let me take that brush. No, that's not it. Where is it? Mm. This right here. The brush that I used all over the face with that NYX powder and I'm just gonna take it around the face again. I didn't put anything on it just to kind of you know, soften up the sides. That's it. Let's spray and then we will be done. I don't have a new setting spray to test out today. So I'm gonna stick with what I love, which is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and just spray the outside of the face or the, you know, just around. <laughs> All right, we're done. This is the final look and I like it. The blue looks cute. The complexion looks bomb. It looks like I just got done sitting in the sun. It just gives me that summer glow and I love it. So let me know if you guys have used any of these products and if you guys have not tried out the Lancome Tint Dull Foundation, highly encourage you guys to try it out. I will have a link down below. Again, thank you so much to Lancome for sponsoring this video. But yeah, let me know if y'all have tried any of the products that I shared in today's video. I will have everything that I use down below in the description as well. But that is it, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.